Hello guys, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful Twin Flame reading. I hope you're well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting what you already know. Um, I'm going to be using the Lover's Oracle to start the reading. I'm going to start with the Divine Muscle and see what their current energy is, how they're feeling, what they're experiencing. And then I'm going to be using the Power of Love Oracle deck and the Archangel Animal deck as well. I'll get some communication from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine and then I will be picking a card for you Divine Feminines to see what you need to know to help you stay focused, to believe and trust in what you already know. I do really hope that you're coping with whatever's going on with you guys um, and that you are experiencing this energy boost this week that was in the weekly reading um, and you're feeling refreshed. So what is it today that we need to know about the Divine Masculines? If any of you guys are interested in joining um, the private membership that I'm offering at the moment, um, everything that you need to know about it is in the description box down below. And if any of you guys would like a private reading for your beautiful, unique Twin Flame journey, just email me. That's also in the description box down below. And all the information about read my readings, um, the prices, that's also in the description box too, guys. So let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculines today. How's that? They, how they're feeling? What they experience? What they're experiencing? Sorry, and what they um, is their current energy freedom? There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. There you go. So nothing is in the way of your divine masculine. And this is a beautiful picture as well. Look, this freedom, the rainbow, the beautiful colours um amazing so the divine muscles are feeling free <laughs> they're feeling this freedom and we've just had you know over the weekend and everything it was such an amazing reading and it was about the divine masculine setting them free themselves free from this emotional stuff and the path you know is being made clear so Lord Ganesh and Archangel Nathaniel have been helping your Divine Masculine you to clear the path and they're feeling this freedom ready to be able to come forwards and um, nothing's stopping the Divine Masculines they're in this energy today and you know that did come through in the weekly reading as well where they've, they're going to make this happen um, and that's all because they're believing and trusting in this brute, sorry, brute, bright future, you know, this delightful future that they know that they can experience with you. And it's because of this emotional freedom. They're not allowing the chatter to stop them anymore. And that is what's kept them trapped for such a long time. So they're freeing themselves. So they're experiencing this freedom. They're in this today. And at the bottom of the deck is a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So I just feel that especially for you, Divine Feminines, because the Divine Masculines want now to come towards you because of this freedom. And that, this is what they want to say to you, that they, they're thinking of you and they've always thought of you in this preparation, however it seems. And your love fills them with so much light it makes them feel alive it makes them feel as if they can do anything it motivates them and it gives them the drive to sort this out whatever it is in their situation that they've had to sort out and it, you know in the root of it is is about the thoughts and how they felt about themselves and they've you know they're they're doing everything they can to manage these thoughts and creating this freedom for themselves now but they love you they do love you and this is what they think about all the time so um they're really you know loved up and feeling this freedom enjoying this love today so that's amazing um so next i'm going to be using like i said the power of love to see what else comes out of this reading let's see what else is it that we need to know about the Divine Muslims' current energy? They're feeling this freedom. They're freed themselves and they they know the path is clear. And God, the universe, the angels are showing your Divine Muslims and the path is clear for them to take action. What else is it that we need to know? nice clear message please about the divine muscles current energy how they're feeling what they're experiencing
friendliness. You're able to recognise traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. So, you know, I know that some of you get really fed up with this card because it's like friendliness and we have kindness as well, guys. But, you know, this is about your perception as well, guys, and just quiet and the ego. If it is kicking off and going, oh, my goodness, what's this about? You know, I don't want to be friends, blah, blah, blah. But as you know, you have to have an amazing friendship um, and kindness um, with your divine masculine to be able, That's what you have to build on, guys. You have to have this strong foundation um, to build this beautiful relationship. And you have to have, be best friends. And the way to do that is to be best friends with yourself. So the divine muskins are, you know, they're being so much more, they're making friends with themselves, import, most importantly, and they're wanting to be friendly towards you. They want to come in with this friendliness, which doesn't mean to say that they want to be friends. And that's you. If you, this is really triggering you, this is you that's got to deal with an issue to do with this friends thing because you're insecure or you're doubting, thinking that your divine muskin just wants to be friends with you. So quieten that if it is kicking off because they're coming towards you in this friendless way and, you know, they don't want to have upset with you anymore. They don't want to have conflict and um, confrontation and everything to be heated. They want to have, be this, have this friendliness. They want to come in in such a different way with kindness, to be gentle, to show you that they've set themselves free with this freedom this emotional stuff and how, you know, the reason why they behaved and did the certain things that they did before is because they wasn't free from that. But now that now they have, you know, created this freedom from themselves. They've got out of their heads and they're in their heart. So, you know, they're being so much more friendly with themselves, which is, you know, they're ready to be friendly and kind and come towards you in a loving way. Um, but it has to start with this friendliness. And, you know, at first it could really trigger you divine feminists because you're like you know i don't want just this friendliness but that is where you've got to take responsibility of yourself and ask yourself what it is about that that's triggering you because it, you know you know that you, you and your twin flame aren't just going to be friends however if they've said that to you before <laughs> you know that isn't the truth it's more to it is every relationship you can think of is the ultimate relationship so um let's see what else comes out <laughs> um but there's going to be some friendliness um coming your way and they're feeling this is the energy as well guys it isn't just about you know what action or wherever they're going to take towards you they're feeling this friendliness and they're flowing with life life because this freedom they're, they're just um, being kind to everyone around them and because they're feeling good about themselves because of this emotional freedom they've set themselves free from that so um next i'm going to be using the archangel animal oracle deck to see what else comes out for the divine masculines <laughs> let's see what else is it the divine masculines are experiencing today what's their current energy what they're feeling today nice clear message please we know that they're feeling this freedom this friendliness um what else is there and the divine masculines are feeling the current energy guinea pig do your part to illuminate the universe yes and because they're being like this towards themselves friendliness and setting themselves free you know their light is shining so bright into the world into the universe you know they're feeling so much better about themselves. And at the bottom of the deck is Wolf. Be independent, but work together. Yeah. So they've taken responsibility of themselves. But they know that it's really important to have interdependence as well. Not just being independent like we're not allowed. You know, I'm being independent. I'm not going to allow anybody to help me. It's about allowing people in and working as a team. And they know that, that they can do that for you. And the path is clear for them to, you know, have this relationship with you, to work well with you. And whatever you do together is going to just be amazing because <laughs> when, you know, both of you have done your work and um, you're not going to be looking upon each other to fix each other and you're not going to be so triggered about everything because you're taking this responsibility with this ind independence but it's about inter 
abundance, about letting people in to help you, your soul tribe, your soul family. Um, and they know that you are the one that they want to share their life with and that they can trust. Um, it's about opening up and working as a team and moving through life together with this being independent and having independent interdependence a bit of a mouthful for me guys but yeah so do your part so they are doing their part they're shining bright and that's because you divine feminines are shining so bright you're glowing because you're staying in your truth you're blossoming and at times you don't feel like that you're glowing and you're blossoming because you're just exhausted because of this journey but the truth is you are glowing because you're shifting and removing so many layers and the light is getting brighter and you're having so much light put into you you're ascending and this is you know you're starting to really shine now guys this is it is your time and this is why this is happening to divine masculines because of what's going on within you they know that being themselves love giving to themselves starting with self is helping the world and that is their mission by being brave and courageous courageous sorry by facing their fears by facing the truth and releasing it not keep burying it and just being a robot and just plodding on with life they don't want that they want to be happy they want to have a successful happy abundant life and they know that that's possible now and they know it starts with self so let's see what communication comes out from the divine masculines what they want you to know so i'm going to use the dark truths from beautiful liz to see what comes out so they're experiencing this freedom this friendliness to self and others and they're wanting to be friendly towards you which means you know they want to come towards you and for everything to be all right between you not to have any you know friction or anything ups, you know this conflict between you anymore they want to perhaps you know, start with this friendliness so your divine masculine could come towards you in this friendly way because of how they're feeling towards themselves with this freedom and they're being kind to themselves and you know they're shining and glowing so much now so what else is it that the divine masculines would love to share and express from their true self to the divine feminines nice clear message please i feel you my spider sense is tingling are you thinking of me because i'm definitely thinking of you <laughs> yeah they are thinking of you and they can feel you and that's because you're being honest and truthful staying in your truth allowing yourself to feel this love and everything is opening you know your chakras are open and you're open to receive you're not blocked off anymore divine feminines so because you're open to receive you're allowing um your divine masculine to feel this love as well you're not blocking your divine masculine and even though that doesn't make any sense in the 3d because it's like you're giving and you are loving and you know expressing how you felt you were so blocked because you were doing it from a place of fear you were so frightened of rejection you really didn't feel good enough so you you didn't allow yourself to really feel the truth because you were too scared even though you was your actions was giving and you just didn't feel good about yourself so the divine masculines are saying they can feel you now they're allowing themselves to feel you and they're thinking of you i wonder i want to tell you how i feel i wonder what you would do if i turned up at your door expect me and that comes out a lot at the moment so they're thinking about you know what how would you react if you knocked at their door and i know for some of you that's a bit of a joke because it's like you expect my divine masculine to knock at my door because it could be they could live in a different country <laughs> or you know you just you just can't imagine it but that, that's what they're thinking about is what would you do if you was at their door they want they're wondering about that and when they're thinking about you and it's about because they're so they just really want to express their love to you um so your divine masculine could be planning 
um, of actually coming and knocking at the door. If you are living quite close by to your divine masculine, you know, expect your divine masculine at the, at the front door. And even if your divine masculine does live in a different country, I know there's still, you know, some restrictions with, you know, because of the pandemic, but, you know, <laughs> As you know, guys, you you know things you know things can you know your dreams can come true. You just have to believe in them. You have to know that it is possible that they can, you know, knock at your door. So, um, you know, believe that that, that is going to happen. That they're going to come to your door. Um, but this is about you know they're wondering how you're going to react when you actually when they actually tell you how they truly feel because they've never you know they've never done this before. So. I'm insecure. You treat me better than I have ever been treated and I know that you can give me everything. I want that, but I still struggle with my fears, mainly about not being good enough for you or being enough for you. It's my own insecurity hold me back. I mean, that is too much for me, guys. This is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You treat me better than I've ever been treated before and this is why the Divine Masculines go silent. This is why the Divine Masculines run because of how they feel about themselves, because they don't feel good enough. They're so insecure. And because you, they've never met anybody like you before, guys, that gives so much love, that loves them so much, they haven't allowed themselves to receive this love or any love, or they haven't been given love in their life. So meeting you just blows, blows them away. They don't know what to do with themselves when it really does, you know, they really have to question themselves. Oh, well, I'm not good enough. I can't give the same as my divine feminine can give. And they just put so much pressure on themselves. So then they run and they just think they just get, they just make do whatever your divine masculine situation is. It could be, you know, they just put up with staying in a marriage or they put up with staying in a relationship or they just stay in the situation in the same job or they just don't go for this relationship. They don't experience love because they're so frightened because of their insecurities of how they feel about themselves. And I know that that could be very frustrating for you, Divine Feminines, but you have to take responsibility because you're one soul. So you're, as I said, your Divine Masculine has these insecurities. It might not, sorry, it might not be the same, exactly the same as your experience of how you're feeling, but it's still the root problem of insecurity of not feeling good enough in some way. And I can identify this 100%. A hundred percent. I can, I feel this. So this is why I can understand the Divine Masculines totally. Because this is my insecurity. And, you know, even though I'm the one that, you know, I, I find it easy to love and to give. But I over give and over give. And that's what I've done my whole life. And, you know... I'm insecure that I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. Even though, you know, I've loved, <laughs> I always feel that I'm not giving up, good enough. This is in my insecurity that I have to be a certain way. I have to be perfect before somebody loves me. I can identify with this so much, this card. It's so amazing that this has come out. So understand what has been going on with your divine masculine because... This is, you know, they're insecure guys because this love has just blown them away because they've never experienced love like this. Or a person that's come into their life that wants to love them so deeply because this, you can't explain to anybody how, you know, this love, it, what this love is, can you? You know yourself how people react. It's the same for the divine masculines. You just question it. You think, oh my goodness, is this real or am I going crazy? Is this all going to go wrong? Like everybody around me, their relationship goes wrong, you know. We're so, you know, um, used to thinking of the worst side of everything. So that is something that your Divine Masculine has been working through in this preparation. And they're still feeling this insecurity. And that is what's held them back for a long time. But they have the ability now to you know, cope with their insecurities because of what you're doing, Divine Feminines, because you're managing how you're feeling and taking responsibility of this insecurity that you may have as well. It's about the awareness. It's not about getting everything perfect. 
because you've still got to work through things with your divine masculine in a relationship isn't you're not just going to come together and everything be perfect it's about you both managing and doing this together now working together as a team like we had with the wolf at the bottom of the deck so now i'm going to be using um I'm going to get a card for you, Divine Feminines, and I'm going to be using the Enlightenment deck, this very old deck, to get to see what you need to know to help you stay focused, to believe and trust in what you already know. What is it the Divine... I mean, sorry, what is it the Divine Feminines need to know to help them stay focused, to believe and trust in what they already know? What is it the Divine Feminines need to know? nice clear message please what is it the divine feminines need to know let's see help them stay strong and focused abundance and again i mentioned about foundation building this foundation solid foundation with the divine masculine because of the friendliness that triggers everybody so this number 40 she's four is that foundations and abundance gift yeah, keep receiving because allowing yourself to receive, open up to receive this abundance, this gift. You know, you are worthy of this love. You are worthy of this relationship. Don't question it. Just keep opening your heart to yourself to receive this abundance because there is so much abundance in every area of your life that's sitting there waiting for you. Receive this gift. Realise your value. Feel your value of who you are. You are worthy and there is so much abundance on to come to you, however it may seem now. And I know that that is really annoying sometimes when you're having a hard time and, you know, you just feel like nothing's working for you and you're just struggling about everything. Um, <laughs> when you hear messages like abundance, you're like, yeah, I keep getting told that, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> I know it, guys, because it happens to me. That's why I kind of... I can um, relate to you if you are feeling this way. But it is true. You've just got to allow this abundance in. You've got to shift your, you know, how you used to view things about this relationship, about um, your finances, about anything in your life, about changing your jobs, you know, to the ideal job or having your own business. There is so much abundance sitting there waiting for you. Just got to open up to it. Allow yourself to receive and there is this gift, you know, and your gift, you know, is your divine masculine. So allow yourself to receive the gift by believing and not questioning this anymore. The divine masculine is a gift from God. And it's, you know, to wake you up to the greatest love of all and loving yourself. And that is a gift. And by doing that, you know, you create so much abundance in your life. So I've gone on a bit today, haven't I, guys? I feel. <laughs> and um, I hope you enjoyed this reading today. It was very powerful. And um, if you'd like a private reading, like I said at the beginning, um, just email me. And if you'd like to become a private member, also email me for that. And everything's in the description box down below. So, and if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share because it really does help my channel grow. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you all so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul say?